it's actually pretty easy to create an application for the Apple Vision Pro. Better yet, I'll show you how to do it right now. Warning for everyone that's watching, this video will go a little bit more in depth into how to actually work with Unity than I usually do on my channel. So, well, now you're warned. So Apple and Unity actually partnered up to create something called Polyspatial, a package specifically for game development for the Apple Vision Pro and its operating system called Vision OS. Now to be able to actually build something for the Vision Pro, you will need a Mac with a silicon chip and ideally also, well, the Apple Vision Pro of course. And while you can run Apple Vision Pro apps in a simulator, I generally don't like this myself as you won't be able to test everything and with new technology like this, well, simulators tend to be very limited. Apart from that, if you plan on installing a build to your uh, Vision Pro, you also need to install the app called Xcode on your Mac. And additionally, you also need access to an Apple developer account. Now, anyone can easily apply for this, but it'll cost you $100 per year if you keep it activated. The process of building a game for the Vision Pro is actually quite similar to building an app for iOS. So if you have done this already in the past, most things will be pretty straightforward for you. And then there's one more requirement, and this one is a bit annoying, as you'll need to have a Unity Pro license as well. As I explained in my previous videos about what I think of the Vision Pro, there are ways to actually circumvent this requirement. And if you want to know how, just send me a message on my Discord server and I'll tell you how you can do it. Also, make sure you have installed the Vision OS module to your Unity installation that you're using. And if you haven't done this yet, you can do this easily in the Unity Hub. Right. Now let's dive into it. When we first create a new project, make sure you choose the Universal Render Pipeline or URP because Unity says in their documentation that they only actively develop Polyspatial for URP. And apart from that, they are also actively killing the legacy render pipeline. So it's probably best to start learning URP if you haven't yet. There are three types of apps you can make for Vision OS. Windowed apps, Polyspatial Mixed Reality apps and Fully Immersive VR apps. And all three are supported with Unity's Polyspatial package. And don't worry about having to choose one early on, as you can change this at any moment. And I'll show you how. Since windowed apps are basically just normal iOS apps in a 2D window in the Vision Pro, I'll skip those for now. In this tutorial, I'll first show you how to create and fully set up a fully immersive app, and then build it to the Vision Pro, of course and then we'll upgrade the project into a mixed reality game type. So now that we have created a clean project, we'll install the XR plugin management in the project settings. And afterwards we can activate the Apple Vision OS. And now Unity is installing a few custom packages and it's also possible it needs to restart once. After Unity has restarted, make sure that the app mode is set to virtual reality or fully immersive space in the Apple Vision OS tab. One more thing that we'll do here is add our Apple developer team ID in the player settings. It'll make the process of building to the device later on easier. And you can find this Apple team ID in the Apple Connect developer console platform. All right, this should be enough. Let's place some random cubes in the scene so it'll look at least a little bit more interesting than an empty scene. For now, we'll skip adding more complex stuff like hand tracking and do those kinds of things later on. Now we can go to the build window. Select Vision OS as the target platform and click build. Simple as that. Unity is now creating an Xcode project for you. Now also notice that I'm actually doing all of this on a Windows 11 device. It's not until you created a Unity build that you'll be needing a Mac. And that is because after Unity is done building, you'll get an Xcode project, which you can actually do nothing with when on Windows. Xcode is Apple's development software that is used to create native apps for all Apple's platforms. And we'll use it to install our Unity project onto the Vision Pro. Just click on the Xcode project file and it'll open up Xcode. One of the well, nicer features of Xcode is that it allows you to build your apps wirelessly to your Vision Pro. And to set this up, you'll first have to set your device uh, in developer mode. You can do this by going to settings, privacy and security, developer mode, and 
When you turn it on, you will have to reboot the device. And this next step is probably easiest if you can see the screen of your Mac inside the Vision Pro, which is such an amazing feature of the Vision Pro itself. Now that we can see the screen of the Mac in the Vision Pro, go to Xcode and then Windows, Devices and Simulators and select your Vision Pro and pair them. You'll first have to click on the Vision Pro and you'll get a code that you then have to enter in a pop-up window on the Vision Pro itself. Make sure your Mac and Vision Pro are also on the same network, otherwise it probably won't work. All that we have to do now is to make sure the Vision Pro is selected as build platform in Xcode and hit play to create a build and automatically push it to the Vision Pro. A little side note here, when I first did this, I got a very annoying pop-up error message on the Vision Pro that I didn't have permissions to run my app. To fix it, I had to press Command Shift Option K in Xcode then reboot the Mac, delete my app that was already installed on the Vision Pro but just didn't want to start up, and then reboot the Vision Pro itself. Now, after I did these steps, I was able to create builds and also launch them on the Vision Pro. I'm not ex sure exactly why this happened in the first place, but well, at least it was an easy fix. There we go. We're running our first VR game for the Vision Pro, and it's amazing, right? Yeah, maybe not yet. But if you want to be able to do anything remotely interesting, like hand tracking, we'll need to install a few Unity packages. And the easiest way to install these packages is by going back into Unity and set the app type to Mixed Reality. Now, Unity will automatically install the required polyspatial packages. These packages contain everything you'll need to create things like hand tracking. And to make things even easier, uh, Unity has also created some project templates. In the description down below of this video, I put up a link to one of these templates. Now, close Unity and unzip everything from the assets folder in the zip file onto the project assets folder. And don't forget to copy the manifest file in the packages folder into the projects packages folder. And this is really important. Now we can reopen Unity and while well, they'll greet you with one of the least helpful tutorials I've ever seen, but if you want, you can go through it. The template project has two scenes. Let's just add both of them in the build settings and make sure you have the sample scene on top and the other one down below. And let's just build the Division Pro again. The first scene showcases how a project needs to be set up if you want a small and contained 3D environment into your real environment. Here you can look at objects and move them around with your hands. If you click on the expand button, we'll move into the second scene that automatically adds AR-like dotted planes all over your environment, allowing you to spawn random objects on your desk by hitting it. And now you can use one of these scenes as the starting point of your mixed reality project, or you can modify one of these scenes back to a fully immersive VR scene by changing the app type to VR, but now you will also have the hand tracking capabilities. Keep in mind that polyspatial is still very limited and also for the first time ever, Unity admitted in their documentation that they don't actually know yet what works and what doesn't work. And they recommend you to try things out. It's a bit unprofessional of them, but hey, we're game developers, right? So this is the stuff we do best. But the biggest limitation that I found is that there's absolutely no way to do anything cool with the eye tracking as Apple has closed this resource off to everyone developing for the Vision Pro. All you can do is place a Vision OS hover effect component on a mesh renderer with a collider and you'll get a not so very nice looking highlighting effect. Yay. I haven't done any real hardware tests yet, but well, the M2 chip in the Vision Pro is pretty great, but it's still rendering two screens that are both 4K resolution. So it's really demanding. And you'll have to keep this limitation in mind early on so you won't run into a bad performance game later on. Personally, I'm very interested in seeing what the Vision Pro will mean for immersive gaming. My hope is that it will give the VR gaming industry a big boost so that it will end up becoming a more mainstream platform. I'm still rooting for VR to really take off. What about you?
All right, that's a wrap again for this week. I wish you all a very nice and relaxing weekend, and I hope to see you again next week. <laughs>